Okay, folks, next location. This is Border Forest Holiday Park in Northumberland. Okay, folks, next location. This is Border Forest Holiday Park in Northumberland. It's not far from Otterburn Range, Army Range, where they do live firing. Uh, Americans shoot the tank artillery not far from here. These are the pictures that are available, all with electric hook up. They're thin, but they're, um, they're long enough for even the biggest ones. There was a massive one here yesterday. Over there, excellent facilities block. Ladies, men's toilets, kitchen, microwave, vacuum cleaner, hot and cold water. Fresh water on the outside on the taps. Just beyond this caravan here is your Elson Point. I say this used to be um, a prisoner of war camp in the Second World War. Held a lot of Italians, apparently. Middle of nowhere, but it's near the army camp. So they weren't going to go any, anywhere, were they? So I'm going to take you over the bridge so you see my vans over there there's a little bridge here it was raining really heavy last night so that's not too bad let's have a look Nice and relaxing. Picnic area over here. Plenty of wildlife, no doubt. This little river meanders around. Can't see any fish. Okay. Some. Oh, there's another caravan park, which is different to this part, this caravan site. Um, up on the hill there, looks pretty remote, doesn't it? I don't know if you can see in the distance there's a motorhome coming. That's the road. It runs from Pontyland, which is north of Newcastle, all the way to. Howick, which is spelt hike, and then there's somebody over there walking along a path, and this is the Pennine Way. So, if you're into that sort of thing, get yourself up here, see all the um, forestry, it's all man managed or women managed. And uh, they've been felling a lot of these hills recently, apparently. A lot of the bikers use this road because it's, it's quite windy. And it's a great run down into Newcastle. And I mentioned hike. If you want to go to hike, 
it's 26 mile away so that's the nearest town with proper amenities so like supermarkets Aldi Morrison's 26 mile away the nearest shop is eight mile away a little corner shop so you need to prepare your food before you you arrive look at that like silver wood isn't it there's the site in the back just walking up this rickety old track see if there's any exciting up here Brilliant if you're a hiker. See what we've got here. The river splits off into two. Comes round by the campsite. Since we're off into two, it might be there. There's two tributaries that make this bigger river here. Let's talk to somebody in the site before. There's a load of camping stuff there. They think they might have just left it. So time will tell. Brilliant campsite. It's quite expensive, obviously, this time of year in July. Um, thought it would have been full. It was. It was quite full yesterday, but it's today, Sunday. There's a lot of people left. You can actually get like, longer term parking here. So I, I know one or two of the vans in the picture there. They. We are here for eight months of the year, which is when the site is open and the prices are quite reasonable. And we're just starting to open up here. Hills in the distance. Meadow fields and just miles and miles of trees pine trees or whatever they call them but all that land beyond there beyond the horizon is military land as I said the Americans shoot their tanks there um, and they do a lot of personnel training there as well it's not hidden because you can see it, see the main entrance from the, the main road but it's, it's got heavy security on it so you wouldn't go go there. Dog walking area. So I'm just carrying along this track here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the Penang Way that I mentioned. Doesn't feel very accessible, but you need some uh, decent trainers or boots on. I'm not going too far. Just passing some caravans. In the middle of nowhere. How did they get down here? That was dull and overcast. It was hot and muggy yesterday. There was loads of midges. And it chucked it down last night. Just 
still a palm seam seam there. Yeah. Both not punting again. We'll get there. Yeah, the bikes in the distance. Smells a bit farmlandy. That makes sense. I'll give you a little taste of the view down here. A few puddles and stuff. Uh -huh. Right, have a look at this. So there's trucks going off up there, up that hill. And there's trucks carrying on here. And there's the caravan park in the distance with the statics. Lovely guy that runs it. Got barriers on here, so you have to pay £10 for a barrier. Key fob. He gave me a brand new one because uh, the barrier code thing's quite low down, so he gave me a brand new one. Um, you get the £10 back, obviously. But yeah, if you just want to get away from it and Although, <laughs> the sound of the traffic in the distance, them um, bikes, could be the Isle of Man, couldn't it? And here I'm coming down now. It's in there somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, you don't mind that kind of thing. It's a little bit muddy around here, so of course it was a say tor torrential rain last night. I know they say it's therapeutic like but it's like water torture. All night again, kinda of get away from this bad weather. It's very mild here now. All these wildflowers. What are they thistles? Oh the thistles. Pop a wild meadow in it. Any other birds? Well, come up to me. First month on the road. Had to make a couple of visits back to to Newcastle to Get a few things done to the van and sort a few items out, nothing out of the ordinary. Would have been a month on, on rain, sunshine. So I'm enjoying it. Thought I heard somebody. No. Yeah, mad. Your imagination plays with you when you're here, you know, because you're not used to the sounds.
must be horses coming down here because there's some horse poo. If you're a dog, you've got to put your rubbish in the bins, but if you're a horse, you can just sit where you want. See the state of the path? So there's another view of the toilet block. I'm not going to go in and show you, but quack little block. Further on to the right there, as you come down, there's another larger block. And it's got showers in and things like that. But it, really, this, this is ideal. And your Ellison Point is just there. Just in front of the side of that caravan there, you can just see it. Very basic, but it uh, does a job. Right, that's the end of the tour. I'm sure the healthier of you would spend a lot longer along those tracks, up the hills, but not me yet. So, that was just a short video to show you this campsite with a little bit of history and what's going on around. I would have thought over the hills I've just shown you there, there was tanks and American soldiers shooting targets. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, any comments, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm going south next.